Hi guys, it's Dharma, Dharma Louise Jones here, and I am up in my little loft area that I never use, um, but I wanted to be somewhere cozy for a little, or a big announcement, I don't really know if it's big, Something has been weighing on my heart lately, in my mind, in my body, in my soul. So you guys know me as Dharma Jones, an adult film performer who has been in the business for the last seven months now. Um, I've been shooting for a lot of different companies um, and getting my name out there. And at this point in time, I am not really going to be shooting for companies anymore. Um, I am going to be very, very specific in the companies that I choose to agree to shoot, to bookings for. Um, but when I first started this journey, this adult film sex work journey, um, I was really excited. I was like, yeah, I have an agent. I'm getting booked all these shoots. It's so amazing. Everyone wants me. And at this point, I just feel like I don't feel good about my image. It doesn't feel like me doesn't feel like who I truly am. Um, for you, those of you that don't know, I am a 26 year old. I have gone to college. Um, I have worked a professional job or an off, I wouldn't say it's an office job, but a professional job in the, in the mental health field. And so when I get booked for roles that are like the 18 year old, the teen, the she's barely legal, the stepsister, daughter kind of thing. That's not me. It makes me feel... <sighs> Lately I've been feeling like this is the person that the porn industry has been creating of me. And then I feel like over here this is who I actually am. And it feels like a split in identity and it feels really bad. It feels... <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. Um, so and moving forward, I will be making my own videos. I mean, I have been already, but that's more of the focus that I'm going for. Um, making really romantic, sensual, real passionate videos for you all because I know that's what you want right you don't want to watch me having fake sex you want to watch me having real sex where I'm actually enjoying myself and I actually like the person that I'm working with and I know a lot of you like to watch the professional type of adult film because just of the production value, I mean, some companies don't really have that, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, I know some of you really like that kind of style, and that's okay. You can continue watching that, and you don't have to continue supporting me or being a fan or whatever. However, I really hope that those of you that have been supporting me and that love me will continue watching my stuff even if it means it's not out there for free on the internet or out on a company site that you subscribe to um i'm really taking back my power my body my image how i'm perceived on the internet and i'm gonna start showing you who i really am um and that is not an 18 year old um, who's really naive and inexperienced in sex. Like, that's not me. I'm very romantic. I'm very sensual. 
and slow and like to feel pleasure and a lot of the shoots don't really give that to me and it just leaves me feeling like I'm not proud of what I'm doing I am but I'm at the same time I'm not like it's not about the fact that I'm um, having sex on camera that's not it at all I want to continue doing that I love it I love expressing my sexuality for all of you to see on camera it's like that's what I'm here for you know but when it's not on my own terms that's what I don't like so you won't be seeing very much of me um, company wise I mean we'll see if um, the companies that I want to shoot for book me <laughs> um, I think they will I've worked for some already and I think they're gonna keep booking me um, you'll be seeing more of my own work with people that I feel aligned to work with and not people I'm working with just to put stuff out there. I don't wanna agree to a collab or a shoot just to make money or just to put something out there because I need to, oh, I need to put a video out on OnlyFans. Like, no, I want to make good quality real content and I know that people are already doing that but I want to continue down like pushing that path forward like I want to make some kind of impact on the industry however big or small um so that means I am removing myself from the majority of the talent pool um, and I'm happy to say that, like, when I get booked for something, I get a lot of anxiety about, like, who I'm working with, and, like, not really, like, female, women, female, whatever, not the girl-girl stuff. I'm, like, calm and chill about that, but when it comes to a boy-girl, I'm, like, who am I working with? Like, I don't want to keep having sex with these, like, random men, random sometimes strange men that constantly hit on me and want to date me. Um, oh, I just realized there's a dog barking this whole time. Not this whole time, but I think I'm so focused on what I'm saying that I did not realize that there's a dog barking. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to think if that's all I have to say. Um, I've really been sticking up for myself, standing my ground. Um, I'm not saying yes to any everything anymore. Um, I am pretty much fully booked for next month. And then January is kind of like, if bookings come in that I feel like it's a hell yes, like, a, yeah, I'm doing that, then I'll do it. But if I'm like, eh, or no, then it's a no. So yeah, keep an eye out for my amazing content yet to come. I know you're going to love it. And I thank everyone who has been a fan so far, who has supported me, who subscribes to my OnlyFans, um, consumes my, my personal work that I've done. I am grateful for you. I love you. You don't even know. It's all amazing. Um, and for those of you who just want to see me work for companies, I'm sorry, but you won't really be seeing me anymore. Um, and that's that. I thought that I was going to get emotional during this, but there's no need to at this moment. Maybe another time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go keep your eye out on whatever platforms you follow me on. Bye.